Hi all, um, this is a quick, well not too quick video, um, for those who are really into the vampire, um, I thought something that might be quite nice is to show you how to get video onto it. I know it sounds like a silly thing but it obviously uses MPEG which is quite an old standard these days. Most videos come in MP4s or all kinds of other formats and I thought I'd show you um, how I do it. Uh, and, and also you can pick up the the actual settings that I use within the tool. Now, I use a product called Shotcut. Now, it's freely downloadable, um, and it runs on Windows, Macintosh, and Linux, so there's no excuse not to be able to get it. But it basically is a front end for FFF, FFmpeg, something, yeah, one of them, which is basically uh, an mplay, a, a, a multi-format playback and encoding system, and it's absolutely amazing. <clears throat> We actually did a version of it for AROS and beside the point. So go here, click on download. Obviously, this doesn't run on the Amiga. Sorry about that. But go here, no matter what one you're going to use, uh, there's your Windows, there's your Mac OS, and there's your Linux. So get yourself a copy of that. Okay, that's the first thing you need to do. Now, once you've got that, we'll load it up. Okay, so what we got, I'm going to do a 16.9 resolution video, you know, called nice widescreen one. And I've got a great video clip. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to chuck that down. Okay, so this is, this is, um, um, not Babylon 5. Actually, it's a recreation of Babylon 5, funnily enough. It's not uh, the original. So you can see, right, oh, Um, now I'm not going to show you how to edit video. Because that's pointless, you, you know, you can figure out how to do it yourself. What you want to be able to do is convert this into a format that the um, the vampire can play and play it full screen. So let's, uh, the first thing we need to do is, well, it's already set to 16.9, which is fine. And we want to leave that. Now you could do a 640, 5480 or any other uh, if you like. But if you're going to do a wide screen, you want to get the best performance, 640 by 360. So I'm going to type in here, I'm going to scale this down. Now I'm going to get it right first of all, 640 by 3, 360. So that's the resolution, make sure the aspect ratio is set to 169, okay? And then I'm going to, well, first of all I'm going to go up to where it says format, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to find MPEG, which is here. Now MPEG you want, okay? Don't click on MPEG one, just click on MPEG, which is the container. Next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the codec. Now in here I want to select MPEG-1 video. It's very important you do MPEG-1. I don't think it does MPEG-2. I'll put money on it. Not a lot, but I'll put money on it. Now we want to set it so that it's uh, an average bit rate. Okay? And, and you can set that to 2 meg, which gives you a nice quality playback. Okay? So leave it. I mean, you could do it to... A lot of them, they're doing them at 15... Uh, which obviously makes it smaller, but I think 2 meg gives, especially this kind of graphics, it makes it look really nice. The next thing you want to click on is audio. Now, this is only my preference, but what I tend to do is drop it to 41, 44 kilohertz. You have to change it to MP2, okay? And then uh, the bit rate, I tend to drop it down to 128, and it just keeps the files hopefully compact. And then basically what we do now is, let me just move that over there. So we check that, we've got MP2, average bit rate, 128, 41 kilohertz, which is 16 bit basically. And now leave these settings as they are. If you want to play around and change them, by all means do, but don't change the settings I've given you here and then come back complaining that it doesn't work because it's, I'm setting these specifically so I know it's going to work. Codec, MPEG-1 video, very important. Uh, the format at the top is MPEG, which is the container. So now we're ready. We just press export file. It's going to ask me, do I want to output it? And I'm going to call this Babylon. And we'll call it MPG, okay? Let's put in there Babylon 5 so we know what that is. Okay? Now, uh, this is going to take uh, a few minutes, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up over onto the vampire. I'm going to, well, I'm going to show you it transferring across. Um, do you know, I can, you know, that's actually doing this quite quick, actually. 
Um, I wonder if it's worth showing you anything else. Uh, oh yeah, the good thing is, why are you doing that? So it can actually be um, playing. Go this. It is actually a really good video, this one. I did it as a test on... Um, well, okay, I'm going to cut this because it's going to take a while. So we'll come back to this in a second. Okay, so it's done now. So if I open up that video file, let me just bring... I'm just going to bring <coughs> the window across. Here we go. Because it's on the... So here we go, Babylon 5. Uh, if I double click on that. Over there. Okay, so this is now an MPEG root, uh, MPEG video. Okay, and it actually lasts about five minutes. I don't know how big, how big is it? Oh, 64 megs. It's quite large. Right, the one I'm gonna do now. Okay, so what I've done now is I've loaded it onto my uh, my vampire machine. <clears throat> so I've got it in here now. I have it set to uh, audio quality medium and drop it to 22 kilohertz. Uh, that's the way to get the best performance that way. So if I just press play, and you can get a bit of a feel for this. It does get a little bit bright in the middle. I think my camera's overcompensating a bit. Show me I've got a scroll bar on this so we can just scroll through it. There we go. Anyway, so there you go. So it's transferred across. Uh, hopefully that's been useful. Um, and I will see you soon.